All year I've done PC builds for you guys using parts configurations that I thought were best. We've gone high-end, mid-range, and entry-level, exploring different form factors, different platforms, and different use cases. But for December, I had a little bit of a different idea. What if instead of me picking the components, I let you guys do it instead? Over the past two weeks, I ran a series of polls, and now we have a full system chosen by you, the audience. Let's see what you guys picked and how it performs. The new Dark Base 700 from Be Quiet features a spacious interior with room for up to EATX motherboards, built-in PWM fan hub, and legendary Be Quiet build quality with included Silent Wings fans. Take advantage of its full modularity by removing or adding panels or even completely inverting the motherboard tray. Thanks to its LED accent trim that you can configure through any RGB header, it'll look great no matter how you build. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. The first poll I ran was the most basic. Did you guys want an Intel system or an AMD system? And the results were actually really close. I honestly expected AMD to win, seeing as how Ryzen is so popular right now, and people are maybe a little tired of Intel at this point. However, maybe the release of Coffee Lake has re-energized the blue crowd, and Intel did win out. But we needed to see which CPU to use in particular. So the next poll dug a little deeper, and you guys chose the most powerful mainstream processor Intel has right now, the 8700K. We've built with this chip before and it's never been less than impressive. Next, we needed to figure out which motherboard you guys wanted to see in the build. And this one was kind of a runaway for the EVGA Z370 for the win. I have other Z370 boards in office, but we've used the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming 7 with the 8700K before. And one of the MSI boards I have is Micro ATX, which we're gonna save for another time. The Z370 for the win is brand new and I haven't yet fired it up, so I'm excited to see how it does. After that, we needed to hop over to the GPU side, and once again, AMD took a backseat to its competition, although this vote wasn't particularly close. It's likely because Vega has a fairly negative public sentiment right now, and hopefully Navi can change things. But which Nvidia card to choose? Well, once again, you guys went super high-end with the 1080 Ti getting almost as many votes as all the rest of the choices combined. For this project, we'll be using the EVGA 1080 Ti SC2, which I recently named as my GPU of the year. This is the card I personally choose to run in my editing rig, and I've had nothing but good experiences so far. Moving on to the memory selection, I let you guys pick what you wanted the DIMMs to look like, although there were just too many choices to allow you to pick the specific modules. Black with RGB was the overall winner, edging out white with RGB, so we're gonna use this 16 gigabyte kit of Team T-Force Delta II. It's DDR4-3000, so we should be able to get some pretty good overclock speeds here, maybe even beyond what the XMP profile provides. Maybe the most objective choice when building a PC is the case. After all, it defines the entire overall aesthetic of the build. The viewers wanted the newest from NZXT, the H700i. Today we'll be using the white version that I took a look at in this video up here. We'll try to take advantage of all the cable routing options and make it a great looking build. The next vote was the most hotly contested and actually ended up in a dead heat, leaving yours truly to break the tie. I let you guys choose which fans we were gonna use and Corsair's LL120 and the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 got the exact same number of votes. Seeing as I'm gonna be using the LL fans in several upcoming projects, I'm gonna leave them on the sidelines today and go with the Silent Wings, which are maybe my favorite fans of all time. The last vote I gave to you guys was cooling and you wanted liquid cooling over air. Seeing as we're using these Silent Wings fans, I'm gonna stick with Be Quiet again and use the AAO that won my AAO shootout a few months ago, the Silent Loop 280. This should be more than enough cooling for our 8700K, and it looks a little bit different also. Well, you guys chose the system, but it's on me to build it. So let's get to work.
all knew that a system with an 8700K and a 1080 Ti would just slay games. And of course this system doesn't disappoint. We hit some absurd frame rates in our normal test suite and also laid down some serious compute horsepower in tests like Cinebench and RealBench. I was especially impressed with the Firestrike score, which was higher than any other that we've achieved in this monthly build series. Overall, we settled on a 5 GHz overclock on the CPU and 125 MHz OC on the GPU core. The memory caused a little instability at anything more than 3000 MHz, so we just set the XMP profile and rode with that. Building in this case proved a little more challenging than I had anticipated. The cable routing channels are nice, but they almost got in the way some of the time, and I found myself wishing for just a little more open space. Still, the end result is pretty slick, and the built-in LED strip at the top and the additional included one that we put at the front gives the H700i some nice illumination down inside the chassis since we went with all non-RGB fans. Thermals were also excellent, and actually downright chilly given the 8700K's propensity towards high temps. The Silent Loop won the AIO shootout for a reason, and the copper radiator kept us around 60C at load even when overclocked. So that's a wrap on December's Viewer's Choice PC. I had fun with this exercise, and I think you guys did too. I plan to do this again next December, and I wonder what kind of system we'll end up with in a year. Now just an FYI, January is looking to be crazy busy, and just like we did last year, we'll be pushing off the next monthly build video until February. But fear not, there is a huge amount of content coming soon as I have at least 15 videos scheduled during CES and another huge water cooling project set to start pretty soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content on the channel this year. It's been a huge time of growth and I've tried to keep up with the increased viewership with better videos, more interesting topics and more professional production. I appreciate you spending some of your time with me and I have a feeling 2018 will be a big one. As always guys, thanks for watching and Happy New Year.